you know, obviously Lashings is an important event, um, but what it sort of means to you, really? Well, uh, it's a great event. Uh, it's great to see so many people, A, sporting cricket, and B, sporting Evershot Greek Club. Uh, my, you know, my kids have gone to Evershot School, and obviously yeah. part of the money today raised is going to school, and then, you know, obviously the other money going to Evershot and the Cricket Club, and functions like this, you know, raise money to keep cricket clubs going, and, you know, we all played... Um, some of us played at the highest level, but without cr grassroots cricket and you know all the teams out on Saturdays, that it'll never, you know, the, the opportunities wouldn't be there. So it's so important that you know that there is money put in, and you know the people who organise events have been a great day. Fantastic, thank you. Um, who were your cricketing idols growing up um, and who inspired you to start playing cricket? Oh, cricketing idols. I'll start with the, uh, who, uh, where I started my cricket. My, um, my father was a coach at Hampshire. I have an older brother that plays as well. So I kind of came out of the womb and straight with a cricket bat in my hand. So I've been kind of playing all my life, really. Um, but then idols, obviously being a keeper batter myself, I think growing up I watched a lot of uh, MS Dhoni, Adam Gilchrist in my early career and seeing those guys absolutely whack it everywhere and take worldies, uh, yeah, made me fall in love with the game. Brilliant, thank you very much. And um, we've got a question here. Out of the members of your team today, who do you think would be most successful on Love Island? We had to ask. <laughs> <laughs> who would be most successful on Love Island? Oh. You know what? I think I'll go Charles, Charles Willoughby. He's still in good nick. I've seen his rig in the change rooms. I think he's still got a bit about him. So yeah, I'll go with Charles. And the accent, the South African accent, accent I think would do well. Yeah, do really South well. African charm, fantastic. And in terms of the Lashings event, what does it sort of mean to be a part of something great like this? Oh, it means a huge amount. Like you only have to look at the team and the legends that are playing. I, I opened the bowling with Courtney Walsh um, last week, which um, I didn't think I'd ever be able to say. Um, but obviously for the kind of club, for the local area, to have um, such cricketing legends playing here, having a good lunch in the marquee, hopefully, um, if it's, it's the same as last week, raising some money, good money for charities and for the club and stuff like that. Um, it's just a really nice event. Perfect, thank you very much. And what does it mean to be part of such a fantastic event such as Lashings? It's always good. I think you know, they're doing some good work helping out a lot of charities, but also bringing cricket to the people in local areas that probably wouldn't be able to see so many of the, the stars of the players and the legends of the game that travel around with them. So I think it's a very good thing that they're doing. And they're very well received everywhere we've gone so far. So I'm happy to be a part of it, happy to help and to know that you're very supporting charities as well. Fantastic. How do you see the game going today? Do you, are you backing a Lashings win here? Here, or do you think Evershot have got the edge? Well, if we're in the Lashings uniform, so I'm going to back my team. I know they've got the great Sir Alex to cook, Alex to cook out, and he's definitely going to add something to the local Evershot team. We've always had good games here, it's going to be very keen to contest it, but as long as I'm in this uniform, I'm backing my team. Oh, brilliant, fantastic. Thank you very much, Kurtley, for joining us just for a few quick questions. Obviously, you've done quite a few Lashings events now. What is it that makes it so special about coming here? Oh, yeah. Meeting with former cricketers, guys who have played with and guys who have played against, just coming together, having some fun, you know, very relaxing. And to me, that's, 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 that's great. Does it give a great exposure to sort of grassroots level cricket and sort of bringing on the next generation? Yes, it certainly does. Because, you know, when you play against other cricketers from smaller clubs, you know, just being on the same park with them means a lot to them and that could inspire them to continue to play cricket. So that's the main aim for us really as past cricketers. Perfect, thank you.